So how do you think tonight went? Oh, well, I loved it. I mean, obviously, it's hard to say how it went from the other side, but I really loved it, really enjoyed it. I think your voice sounded really strong, really powerful. Oh, come across so really well. Is there any reason that the songs that you chose tonight, what were the songs you chose tonight and why? Um, why don't you do right? Well, that was my audition song. Yes, I remember that, that one. Well and, um, and so that Jason, everybody was keen for me to do that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was keen to do that one. And, yeah. um, and then Mick, that we were just looking for another Dungeon. one. <laughs> Are you asking? Oh, she's going to interview. So we were looking for another song to do. Yes. And, um, Mick suggested Orange Coloured Sky and I hadn't heard of it. And, is that um, the, one of the conductors? He's the guy in charge of the band. Yes, yeah, yeah. he was on the... On the well, well, he, he would have been your right. saxophone. Huh. He's one of the sax players, yeah. Right, um, yeah. He, he, he suggested Orange Coloured Sky and for me, because it's a completely new genre, I had to um, just go away and listen to loads of songs and try and figure out what I was going to do. So I, I just liked it. You know, the yeah. more I listened to it a few times, it really grew on me and suited my voice, I thought. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so How do you think you handled the pressure of performing in front of a thousand people? I was really nervous, really nervous, <laughs> and it, but we got our practice done in the afternoon and it kind of, once I did my run through I did settle down quite a lot, but I yeah. was still very nervous. Do you have any pre-concert pre, um, things that you do to get yourself focused? No, no, because I, I haven't done a big thing like this, so no, no, maybe I need to, right to into think it. of something next time. Right. Yeah. Do you have any gigs coming up at the minute? Um, I, have, I have a lot of solo stuff that I'm doing. I have my regular regular gigs at Rockers Hall and Chapters Hotel in Dorsley and the Dog and Gun at Pato and then all my weddings and things that I do, garden parties okay. and just, just anything really. But I have, yeah. um, I have a lot of dates in my diary at the moment. So. Excellent. Any other questions? Um, would you have a bit with Jason again? I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. Nice. I love your dress. You look amazing. Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> have you had a special game? Oh, no, I just bought it. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Um, do you have any, do you have any, favourites that Jason does? Any like favourites that you love? Yeah. And obviously I wasn't in for the first half, so in the second half I loved, I loved summertime. Really uh -huh. loved it. And, and some of the Elvis ones as well towards the end really liked, yeah. So. Has Jason been a bit of a mentor as well? Has he helped you how to cope on stage with people, like in front of all those people? Did he give you help on that as well? Or? I, I think it's just, um, it's just confidence building, isn't it? Obviously being picked at the auditions and, you know. Yeah, he's a true professional, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, built your confidence yeah. to think, well, actually, yeah, I can do yeah. this. So he's just that. a lovely guy to work with. Yeah, really it's really nice, really good fun. Yeah. And, uh, we, you know, we've had a good, good time. So. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you for your time.